Hey everybody, Organized Wife here. So, first off, I want to thank all the viewers who are viewing my videos. Yay! Um, and I believe right now I have between 27 and 29, I think, subscribers. So those who have subscribed, thank you. Share me, please, please. Anyway, that's enough begging. So, this video is my weekly tidbit. I seem to be getting a lot better at this whole weekly postings, which is odd for me. We'll see how long this lasts. Fingers crossed it'll continue. So, yeah, I'm going to jump, jump right into it. Not a lot of babbling unless it deals with the topic. So, this weekly tidbit, 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 tidbit is about a laundry helper. This little tidbit helps keep your drawers organized and helps you to do laundry sometimes. <laughs> At least it does for me. So yeah, I'll get right over it. This is my tidbit. Yes, it is a garbage pail. But it does not have garbage in it. It has socks. This is my sock bucket or my sock pail or my sock catcher or my I don't know whatever you want to call it. You know those socks that the dryer eats or the washing machine eats or the pets play with and take for a walk or whatever and all of a sudden they're missing their partners and they get very lonely? Well we put them in this. We put all of our extra socks that have no pairs that we can find so far. We put them in here. Now if the sock has holes in it we obviously throw it out. So we don't have socks with holes in here. We just have socks that don't have any pairs. And that includes in our drawer. And uh, right now, in whatever laundry we, we have done. So about every other laundry time, every time, every other time I do laundry, I take this little bucket out, and I take the socks out, and I throw them in with the pile of socks we have. And if they come back into the bucket, they come back into the bucket. I haven't developed a method yet for um, distinguishing what socks are coming back into the bucket, because I don't keep track of that. I might do something with paper clips. I have a ton of lack of, of colored paper clips. So I may decide to just stick one on the end of a sock. And if that sock comes back in here, say, more than three times, then that sock obviously does not have a partner. Um, so we'll throw it in. So that would keep it clean and stuff. But I haven't implemented that, so we'll see. Anyway, so I got this idea again from Pinterest. Uh, which is where I get all my weekly tidbit ideas. If you've got some weekly tidbit ideas, message me, comment, please. I'd happily do it if I'm able to. So yeah, anyway, the only problem I had with this, this method was that it, it's a garbage pail. Um, and my husband looks in and goes, oh, socks. Well, there's probably garbage underneath. Let's turn it upside down in the garbage pail. Yeah, he almost did that. I stopped him. Thankfully, I did not want to go fishing for socks. So, to solve the problem, I did this. I put, I don't know how well you can see it or not, because I can't see my camera's not one of those flippy things, but anyway. Um, I put a label on it. I put, and laminated with packing tape on cardstock, I put missing partners, sock, if found, please put here. That way, both my husband and I know that this one is specifically for socks and it's supposed to be when we move into a house kept in the laundry room or some other place of access where we end up finding socks um, or wherever we hold socks, whatever. And that way, we know that this is not a garbage pail. This is a sock pail. So we put all of our missing socks in here. So this does keep your sock drawer clean because you don't put the loose socks back in the sock drawer to never be found again you put them here that way they're more likely to get their partners sooner because socks just end up floating around in the sock drawer it's the first drawer to get disorganized in my opinion it really is like I've given up on Josh's if you remember a video um, I think it was my second video that I did our dressers um, Josh's sock drawer was superb I gave up after about two weeks of trying to keep the socks organized his socks aren't stiff, they're very well worn, very bendy with use, and they don't stay folded. They just don't. Um, everything else does. Everything else is still pristine and all that, but socks, not so much. So, but yeah, this helps keep your socks 
clean and organized in the drawers. It also helps out with laundry, so that way you also have a place to put all your socks. You just pick them out, and as you pair them up, whatever you don't pair up stays in the bucket. So yeah, that's my weekly tippet. I hope to see you next time, and enjoy the rest of your week. See yas.